Thank you, Brittany. Right now, a baby remains in intensive care at Children's of Alabama after being left in a hot car for several hours Thursday. The one-year-old girl was unresponsive when her father remembered that she was in the car. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is live at Children's of Alabama with the latest on this case. Well, Jim, police tell us that last night was an extremely challenging night for that one year old girl here at Children's of Alabama, but they say she is a fighter. Now, based on the most recent update we've gotten from the police, the child is still in the ICU here at Children's of Alabama. Police believe it was an accident and her parents have not been charged, but there is a bill aimed at preventing tragic situations like this altogether when possible. Now, this is an update from a story we broke back in 2014. Today, State Representative John Rogers of Birmingham confirms he'll reintroduce legislation that would authorize people to break car windows if necessary to rescue children from hot cars. Do what you got to do. It's, a, it's something you got to happen. It's, it's a terrible way to die alive. Big to lie. That's what it really boils down to. Now, there's a similar push at the federal level, and it was inspired by the high profile hot car death that led to the Ross Harris murder trial in Georgia. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you about the new mission from a self described former Harris family friend who's now devoted to trying to protect children. We're live in Birmingham. Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.